Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of PostgreSQL in which we are working on the CRUD functionality. So in this part we are going to register the user with Laravel PostgreSQL. Okay, so its entry will come up here in our users table that we have created in the last part. Okay, so let's start. So first thing is that we are going to create the uh, user controller uh, that we are going to create as a resource controller. Okay, so uh, we will run. Uh, this is our project. Okay, so I'm going to run. Uh, right click uh, and here in Mac new terminal folder otherwise you know that how to run the artisan commands okay so here I'm going to run this command to create the controller uh, users controller user controller we are going to create resource controller okay so it has been done I'm going to close the earlier file and open this one user controller for our project and here you can see the all the default functions have been created okay so we are going to use that create function but before that we are going to create this route as well in web.php file okay so we will open the web.php file and here we are going to create this route i'm going to create it here and make sure that you will add uh, this uh, user controller at the top as well so after this i'm going to add this one as well okay and now finally we are going to update the create function here we will return uh, so that we can able to create the register blade file okay so here we are going to create the create blade file inside the users folder okay that we are going to create uh, so i will go inside the postgresql and here resources views and inside this i'm going to create the new folder that will be called as user and inside this folder i'm going to create the new file okay i, I can create it like this i'm going going inside and i will create the new file here okay so here i'm going to name this file like create and then we'll rename this file with the create.blade.php file okay so we are going to use this file we will keep it use php and now uh, and here we are going to copy this one this function we are going to copy and we'll paste uh, sorry not here uh, but here here we have already done sorry uh, after that uh, we are going to uh, see this one we have already done we have uh, able to create uh, this create.blade.php file inside the user folder after that we will open this link this bootstrap link okay uh, you can open this link you can find all the instruction in, uh, un under the video okay so after opening this link uh, here you, you can see the complete html you can copy this complete html and can put this one here uh, but uh, here this body part we are going to replace actually we want to create the form okay we want to create the register form for the user so this body part we are going to replace with this form okay and in form action you can see we have already added that route user dot store because every time if we will create some user uh, it will get saved it uh, see this one is just for the form this uh, function is just for for displaying the form but the store function is for saving the user into the database okay so we will finally uh, update the store function as well so that we can save the uh, user entry into the database so first of all we will check whether the data is coming here or not okay from we are going to check uh, after posting let's uh, post some here i'm going to open that link okay and that is user uh, users slash create so this form has been created you can see so i am going to uh, now will try like i'm going to add amit gupta here my email id and here any email id i'm going to make like this one password 1256 i'm going to click on save okay so after saving yes the data is coming here so it's fine the data is coming here so we are going to bcrypt the password we are not going to save the password like this uh, for laravel we need to bcrypt it so that it will get converted uh, it will get converted into hash format okay and finally we are going to create the user we are going to save this data see here make sure that uh, all the uh, all the column names uh, must be matched with the with the column name of our our, our table our user table so we can open here and we can check here in user table id name email password so all column name must be matching okay uh, so that we can use this create function uh, of laravel to create the user okay 
so uh, and we will return this message user created successfully and this message will get uh, must be shown here so uh, that message we are going to show uh, with this one we are going to add this one uh, under body we are going to add this one so that the message will get show once the user get created so now we are going to create the user and uh, see I'm going going back and now I'm going to create the user I'm in Gupta with this one and this email click on save and let's see oh okay sorry if uh, we need to uh, this uh, user model is not there so that's why it is showing uh, this error so we need to add the model as well use app model so that we can save uh, this one okay so because we are using here the user model here you can see so but we have not added the model we have not included the model so that's why this error is coming uh, so once again we will go back and we'll try to save and let's see this time and yes user created successfully uh, so the message has come now we are going to check in our pg admin uh, uh, users table here i'm going to refresh this one and we'll see i'm going to refresh and uh, we'll check out uh, its entry okay uh, or we can click on all rows click on here like this and let's see if the entry yes entry has come up you can see the amit gupta with email amit 100 at the top of .com and this password that is saved in the hash format so finally we able to save the entry uh, in our uh, users table of pg admin that is the part of postgresql okay so one more entry we are going to add here like john singh i'm going to add here john at the rate of uopmail.com password is 1256 i'm going to save it as well and let's see this entry has also been done i'm going to refresh our pg admin once again and here we are going to uh, we are going to check it like this right right click view audit data and click on all rows then it will display all the rows there okay uh see i'm going to open uh, it gets close uh, let's open once again uh, i'm going to open uh, here pg admin uh, from scratch we are going to open and Uh, so here you can see the John Singh entry has come up here as well. Now there are two records. One is with the Amit Gupta and second one is the John Singh. Okay. So we fi finally able to create the users and uh, we able to insert in our users table in the PG admin that is the past part of PostgreSQL. Okay. So in the next part, uh, we will continue working on this third functionality. Okay. So stay tuned for the, uh, uh, for the next part. So that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.